All right, let's do this. Excuse me, you want to help me with the quest? <laughs> That's funny, man. Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to uh, attempt our second scan, live wire scan, which is way up in the northeast up here. So let's go ahead and double click our right mouse button to set our marker. <clears throat> and then um, we want to take off. And I have all the food basically that I have uh, cooked. Well, I've got not all of it, but I got a stack of 20. Um, so we're a little low there, but we do have berries too. And. Um, I don't think we need all of this stone, so let's just drop some of that. Uh, throughout the night, I mined some more stone, made a couple stacks, went out and had to get some oxide in the dark, fought off probably five to six wolves, maybe. Uh, and we do have our next talent points, too. So let's look at that first before we take off. Uh, as far as talents go, let's go back to the solo tree. And let's go ahead and do this one. What does this do? Reduce damage from animals. Hmm thinking maybe we ought to do this one because that's going to help yeah let's do that one then we'll probably go back to fleet footed and then get the second one in here and then the next one i'm gunning for is the three blueprint points okay let's go to the tech tree and um let's get the cloth armor and the rest of that stuff over there is building which we don't really care about for this prospect anyways so i guess what might make the most Next sense. Wood torch would be handy. Suture kit, splint. Blood thinning paste. Antibiotic paste or heat bandage. Um, I'm thinking maybe a suture kit. I guess. Oh, you know what though? Let's let's get the bone sickle. And let's get the splint next, I guess. Okay, cool. Uh, so now we should be able to make the uh, cloth arm armor, and then that'll get us fully armored. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, I think we're ready to set out. Uh, there's, we'll stop at this water up here and replenish our water, and we're gonna need uh, some more oxide too. So let's head on out and see if we can get this next one done. Um. I have quite a few bones here, too, so we could probably make some more uh, bone arrows. What's the max? 34. Yeah, let's save a little bit of bone. Uh, so maybe we'll make, say, like 25 more. <coughs> Which is probably more than enough. Plus, you know, we'll kill critters along the way, too, here. Um, we're not going to go out of our way to, to hunt, though. But we will uh, hit anything that's in our path. Just for XP and all that sort of thing. Hey, I got Ruthlessness 1. Achieve 50 critical hits. There you go. Uh, all right. Take all of that. And let's get his bones. Okay. Let's head on out. So this is going to be quite a lot further to go. If things go extremely well today, we might actually be able to get both of the remaining scans done. But we'll see um, how, the, how things go, of course. All right, we'll grab berries along the way. So, yeah, it's get, it gets really dark here at nighttime, and it makes it kind of difficult to do things. Not impossible, but just challenging. But, you know, when we, when we do the next prospect where we're going to, you know, spend some time uh, base building and getting used to the game and leveling. Um, hopefully we'll be able to <clears throat> come up with, you know, more modern light sources, like, you know, a flashlight or something like that. I don't know <coughs> how that works, but we'll just see how things go. We will definitely grab these as we come across them. That's a good food and water source. Here, we might as well grab the little oxide stones, too. We actually need to find a big oxide rock, though. 
as we're run along and we got a new lake here that we can drink from and there's an oxite rock over there by the way I did remember that I could sleep the night <coughs> uh, sleep till the morning which is actually probably what we're gonna do in most cases um, but as I remembered that it turned 7 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> I slept in the bed and I got the bed buff, whatever that actually is. Probably some kind of rested buff. But I, it was already too late. So, yeah. That was kind of funny. Got a chuckle out of that. Okay, let's keep moving here. Um, let me look at the map again for a second. Okay. Let's actually take one more sip of water. Well, I'm sure there's going to be more water um along the way probably but just get that completely topped off because i have no portable source of water at the moment i know there's supposed to be a oh we can grab some corn um, let's do that there's like a water skin thing you can get but i haven't learned that yet so i have no way to take water with me we can make Corn on the cob, which will give us another food source. And what we, what we might end up doing too is just create a little campfire right at the quest site, so we can cook fresh food if we need to. We'll just see how things go. All right, that should be enough of that for now. There's some carrots. Uh, another carrot. All right. There's probably another one around too, but I don't want to spend a lot of time on that. So we're getting into, I believe we're getting into new territory that we haven't been to yet. Unless we did, did we come up this far once? No, I don't think we did. I think this is new, all new stuff here. So we'll just keep running along, <coughs> kill any critters that are, get in our path, wolves in particular, and then get up to our, our site. All right, let's very carefully work our way down here so we don't break our leg, though we can make a split now. That doesn't mean we want to break our leg. How come uh, <clears throat> this part of the map hasn't opened? Oh, there it goes. I was going to say, why hasn't that opened up? I guess it takes a, a little bit for it to catch up or something. Careful, careful. All right, we got another lake here that we can replenish our... O2. <coughs> O2 at. Oh, I said O2, but I meant water. Right, can we get this guy? Right in the ear. Brutal, man. That's brutal. But we gotta do what we gotta do to survive. Okay, let's, um, how close are we now? Pretty close. Why don't we go to the other side of this lake and consider setting up just a little tiny base camp with a fire. All right, let's take a look at uh, the things here. So, yeah, I think we have enough things that would be worthwhile cooking, even if we don't need it on the way up. Uh, we could do it on the way back. So let's go to crafting and make a little campfire. Okay, and we'll put some uh, wood in here. And then we want to cook the corn, the pumpkins, the raw meat, and the carrots. Okay, so let's let that cook. I think what we'll do... Uh, for now is we're gonna I want to get a little more oxide and let's get rid of this rotten meat that's not doing us any good right now and we got wild berries let's consume some of those we'll consume uh, those watermelons I kind of like to save those just because we get hydration for them but they are gonna go bad eventually um, and then if we eat 
this. Does that give us the third food group? Yes, it does. Okay, great. Um, let's have another meat. Let's take a drink of water. And I think we're good to go. I just want to hit, uh, get a little more oxide. Oh, more watermelons. Okay, let's grab those for sure. I don't think we need the pumpkins right at the moment. So let's fill up on our oxide, and then we're going to head up to the site there. Okay, that gives us 23. That's probably good enough. Make that 24. Or 25, even. Okay, let's head up to the scan site. We got another level. New tier unlocked crafting bench. Oh, nice. So, tier two. Fan freaking tastic. All right. So, we could learn to craft the bench. Let's go to talents first. Um, I want to do this. So, 20% or 25% physical resistance. To animals. I think that's going to help us here and now. <clears throat> and then let's go back to here. Now, let's go back to tier one for a second. Is there anything else? I mean, there's a couple medical items here that would still probably be good to get. And the probably the larger wood crate, maybe. But um, I want to, I definitely want that. Okay. Uh, of course, which starts unlocking all of these crafting stations. And should oh and should start unlocking iron stuff too. Ooh, that's that's so good. <clears throat> um suture kit. In the large wood crate. You know, I think we can wait on that. I, I'd really like to uh get into iron here. So uh oh oh the longbow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need the longbow, guys. <laughs> We totally need the logbook. And there's the water skin, too. Okay, so I have two points available. Um, let's do the longbow <clears throat> right now. And we're going to need all of this stuff, of course. Um, maybe the water skin might be the next best thing to do. Um, and then these iron tools, perhaps. Uh, you can do the iron knife and spear, too. Taxidermy knife, shovel, iron repair hammer. Oh, man, so many good things, guys. So many good things. Um, I think, yeah, let's go Let's go with the water skin next. I mean, we're going to get all of it eventually, right? Okay, can we make the longbow now? Where is it? Longbow, longbow. That's the wood bow. Oh, no, I bet you we have to make it in the crafting bench or one of the benches, yeah. Okay, well, we'll just work with the... The basic wood bow for now. Uh, I'm gonna eat one of these now before it goes bad. <clears throat> and um, let's get all the way up to the site, uh, which is just, I think, up this little ridge here. So it's kind of the same type of area. <clears throat> all right, let's um. Repair, make sure everything is fully repaired. I think <clears throat> we're going to get wolves in this one. We have 70 bone arrows, so we're in pretty good shape there. Uh, let's replenish our meat. And that. And this. And we're in pretty good shape, I think. On all of our three food groups. We're at full health. <clears throat> We got full oxygen, food, and water, so I think we're good to go. So let's do this. And I, again, I think this is the wolf one. It's either the wolf one or the jaguar one. I'm not sure. Press E to interact. Looks like the unit's ready. Okay. In a minute, he's going to say, those aren't friendly whatever's coming after you. But we're armored, we're full health. Are they coming? 
There's a wolf down there. Heads up. Wildlife incoming. Incoming from where? Oh yeah, here they come. Oh, just two wolves? Oh, they're attacking the... You lost power. The you thing. Oh, I guess there are more than two wolves. Are they supposed to be attacking that or me? Alright. Guess that's it, eh? That's it. Systems online. Okay. Uh, no, here comes another wolf. Take all. Okay, time to move out. There's another zone marked on your map. Okay. Let's uh, harvest all these guys. And <clears throat> what time is it? It's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I don't think we're going to be able to get... All the way down to the other one before nightfall. But what I could do, now that I remembered that I could do it, is um, just sleep in the bed and not, you know, spend the whole night. And then we can head down there in the morning. But we should be able to get that done in this episode. Might be a little bit longer episode, but we'll see how things go. I'll probably, what I'll have to do is cut out the journey down there. Because it's really just going to be me running, um, shooting wolves if they get in the way, and um, that's about it. Whoops, I keep doing that the wrong way. Okay, so take all of that, get the bones, repair the kniffy. Okay, I think that's all the critters. <clears throat> Let's give this a quick repair. All right, hold the pickup. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run back down to our little campsite, grab the food, um, run all the way back to my campsite, uh, which is right about here-ish, and then I'll sleep the night and then run down to the next um, quest site. And I'll bring you guys back at that point, and we'll finish the last scan. Okay? If anything crazy happens in the meantime, of course, I will show you that. But if nothing crazy happens, I'll see you at the last scan site. All right, we got a doozy of a storm happening here. I'm still up at the lake. Looks like we have a deer that wants to get into our shelter with us. <clears throat> so I just burrowed into a stone, and we're waiting that out. Hopefully lightning doesn't strike our little stone here and split it in half. That would not be good. Sounds like some trees are falling over. <laughs> this is nasty. All right, welcome back, guys. It is uh, the next morning. It's a little after 7 o'clock in the morning. And we're going to head to our last scan site uh, which is down here maybe just a little bit closer than the other one but not by much and we'll get that one done and then hopefully we'll get off this planet so let's take a look at our fire here um, we got plenty of food but we'll take some more okay so we got some corn got some watermelons got some berries um, barbecued carrots well actually those carrots aren't cooking right at the moment the meat is so let's just grab some more meat put that stuff there okay um we'll have a meat let's save the watermelons for later have a corn and finish those berries and we have the uh rested buff from the bed which what does that do for us oh nice that's actually very a lot of nice buffs um, I don't know if we'll be able to get up to the location before that wears off, but let's let's try it. Let's try it. Okay. So this time we're going south. And I believe, <coughs> excuse me, the enemies that we'll be facing here are jaguars. So probably the toughest of the three, I'm guessing. But hopefully we can get her done. How much oxide do I have? I have 
I don't have any oxide. Yeah, we should probably grab some of that. I think when I sprint, I use it quicker, which makes sense because I should be breathing harder. Ran right on into a wolf here. Man, it gets uh, really dark in the shade in this game. We're at being 8.30 in the morning, you know. Guess that's somewhat realistic, though. Meat gatherer one. Gather 100 meat from skinning. All right. Look at us and our bad meat gathering self. All right. We're getting pretty close to the uh, scan site, but I want to go down to this water and replenish first before we head up there. So I didn't actually run into any water uh, most of the way down here. Probably because I was kind of more along the base of the map, though, and not running down the middle. Okay. I've got a drink of water. Let's get up to where we need to go. And then I'll eat to renew all of our buffs, and then we'll we'll do it. We'll do the thing, man. Um, do we go this way? Looks like it's going to be up there. Okay, let's go around this way. Pick up a little more oxide, because by the time we get up there, we'll probably need some more anyway. And yes, I am forgetting to ABC. <laughs> That's all right. We'll get we'll get the XP eventually. Okay, I guess we got to go around this way. This is a pretty long run too, actually, because it's uh, it's not quite as far distance wise, but. It's not a direct run, uh, or less of a direct run, I guess I should say, than the other one was. Okay, we are at the scan site. Hello, dear. Uh, before we activate it, though, let me find an oxite rock. Here we go. And get that replenished. And then, then we'll take our food to get those buffs going, and then we'll start up. Okay, so we got that. Uh, let's take both of these watermelons, and that gets our water topped off. We'll consume some meat, some corn, and some berries. And that gives us our three buffs there. All right, let's do this. Excuse me, you want to help me with the quest? That's funny, man. Okay. Good. There we go. We're reading the station. It's active. Let's repair this and this. So the last time the wolves seemed like they were attacking this thing. I guess it does have a durability. Okay. So maybe the cats will attack it too. And we can kill them while they're focused on that. Okay, here we go. Time to partay. Yeah, see, they're focusing on the thing there. Okay, good. We got a level. It might not be... Of course something happened. All right. Let's go ahead and reactivate. Stations online. Any more critters coming? There we go. It is done. Collect the station. 
Didn't even take any damage. It looked like one of those well, jags was hitting it. You're done here. You did a lot more than just survive. Did I? Okay. All right, let's um harvest these guys. Bet we get some XP for doing this. 870. Okay. It's not that much more than a wolf, but it's it is more. Oh wait, what does that say? The second most dangerous thing in the forest. What's the first most dangerous thing? Is it bears? Maybe it is bears. Okay. Well, that is it, guys. Um, I guess I can go down this way. Hope we don't break our leg in the process. Uh, what's it look like over here? A little more gradual. Okay, we're good. Holy crap, man. We hurt ourselves, but we didn't break our leg. So that's the good thing. Oh, is this a cave? Sure looks like it, huh? Okay. Well, um, I think that all that remains is to run back to the dropship and get the hell out of here. So let's get her done. Uh, we're in pretty good shape food, water-wise, that sort of thing. Um, oh, I didn't get the bones. Not that it really matters. We'll get them anyways. Get a little ex extra XP for the for our trouble. Uh, all right, uh, we have a tech tree too, so let's um. Actually, you know what? Let's get back to the drop ship first, and then we'll look at that right before we leave. So it's not too terribly far away. Uh, but we are gonna have to kind of. I think there's like a little mountain pass here that we can run through, which I didn't take on the way here. So this should get us back there more quickly. All right, guys, we are back at the shuttle and ready to take off. All right, so let's, um, before we do this, let's do talents and tech tree. Uh, so let's go back to solo again. That's the quiet one. That's low maintenance. Uh, I think we're going to do gives the three blueprint points one next. All right, very cool. Now let's go to the tech tree. So we have six points available. Um, I think what I want to do, I mean, there is, there are a couple more things in here we're going to want, uh, which probably includes unlocking wood, um, which we have to do by doing that and that. Okay. But let's go to the tier two and look at this really quick. I would like... Let's look at these. So we got an oxide dissolver that allows us to make little bladders that we can take with us for O2. Furnace is what we need to smelt with. Rain reservoir. Oh, that's kind of nice. Wall torch, wall cupboard. See, these are these are going to be useful, of course, but cooking station, crop plot. Yeah, we're going to want to get into farming. Mortar and pestle, we're going to want. Flint arrows, we can get at level 15. There's the oxygen bladder. Leather curtain window. Herbalism bench. What does that do? Oh, I guess we can create like medicines and things like that. Textiles bench is probably for clothing. Yep. Um, wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Okay, let's go all the way back to here. Um, I think we're going to want to do like the iron stuff, but... Probably we're going to have to do the stone furnace to get, you know, to smelt the iron stuff. And then we're going to want a pickaxe and an axe axe and a kniffy and a spear. I'm thinking skinning bench. Fully processes animal carcasses for more resources. That's cool. Wall covered. Um, probably this is going to do a water thing. This is going to be an oxygen thing. Mm, let's go with the knife, I think, for the next 
No, let's go with the mortar and pestle. Cool. All right. So that uses all of our points there. And uh, we're good to go. All right. Let's hop in the ship and head on out of here. Drop ship cargo. We don't have anything that we can take with us. So, yeah, because it's not going to let us take any of this stuff. All right. Here we go. Right on. We finished our first actual prospect. Very cool. Okay, so we got a thumbs up rating and a blue crown. Again, I'm not sure what that all means, but we got her done. These are the ribbons that we gained. Okay. Well, it didn't give us much time to look at it. I'm sure we can see that stuff in other places. Excellent, you guys. Excellent. Okay, so... Um, yeah, let's wrap up the episode here and then we'll start the next episode and we'll figure out what our next prospect is. I'm pretty sure we're going to do the long one um, so we can kind of sandbox for a while, level up, build a cool base, really get to learn the game before we uh, take on uh, more prospects. Uh, in fact, yeah, I know that is what I want to do. So before I let you guys go, I'm almost caught up to my multiplayer guy here. Uh, let's select a character and... Um, claim our rewards. So we get a hundred credits, I guess, for that. Prospect Summer Beachhead Recon. Why is this still up here? I don't know. Go away. I'm not sure why that stuff keeps popping up. Okay, so we want to go to the workshop and take a look at what's next available so those are those ration things we got a hundred credits um <clears throat> so this is the this is the suit that we currently have but we don't have enough credits to get a better one that one's not as good as what we have and these are probably even better down there all right, is there anything else that's available to us? I guess we can scroll down that way too. MXC campfire, prefab campfire, gatherer's backpack. Oh, that's really cool. There's a lot of neat stuff in here, isn't there? Um, <clears throat> I guess though, kind of the downside maybe to the sandboxing is we don't, have access to all this cool stuff until we come back up but that's all right kind of the the point i think in the sandbox well at least for me is is to just you know get real familiar with the game and even and just enjoy the sandboxing part of the game without the pressure of having to get back right away kind of thing so i guess that's all we're going to do what's this what's this mail business in prospect notification you've completed mission you can view the summary of your drop here Oh, is that, that's this? Okay. Is it just because I hadn't read them yet, maybe? That why those were popping up? I'm not sure. Okay, let's go back home. Let's go to a new prospect. And we want to choose Argos Exploration. So this is basically 30 days. You qualify for open access to this region. How about that? How about that? Okay. So, um, basically just explore Icarus. Claim prospect. All right. Confirm loadout because that's all we have to load out. <clears throat> I'm going to let um, friends join me on this one since we have 30 days. So I'm going to keep this at friends only and... We might do maybe maybe do some multiplayer or something on this. Um, so yeah, we're gonna leave that one on friends only. Okay, so let's click yes, claim the prospect. We'll head on down to the planet and then we'll wrap up this episode. I want that pick.
Welcome back. You helped open this region up for the UDA. It's yours to do whatever you want. Enjoy it while it lasts. All right. <laughs> Very cool. All right, guys. So we have 30 days to sandbox in Icarus. Looking forward to it. I obviously am not going to show everything, um, every moment here, uh, because obviously I'm going to have to be doing a lot of grinding. Uh, but, you know, I, we will do a, a few episodes, I'm sure, uh, during the sandbo this sandboxing mode um, and <clears throat> uh, just have some fun with it. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, the episode today and hope you're enjoying this series so far. And if you are, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have, thank you very much. Uh, leave a like and a comment. And if you are interested in becoming a member of the Old Guy Gaming community, hit that join button on the page and take a look at all the perks that it offers. And uh, if you want to come and be a member, that would be fantastic, too. All right, I'm going to let you go here. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.